I'm going to lay this out. Then I'm going to get into my topic. I'm going to lay this out. I, I've been convicted. I'm going to preach this all next year. I'm going to show you what I did to build my massive organization. And like I told you guys, I had to confess. I had to come clean. I had to uh, repent, if you will, by not telling you what you should know. And I, I'm sorry for that. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to teach a preacher in 2023. Get ready. If you don't want to hear, uh, don't listen to me. As a matter of fact, I've always said you only need three people to listen to. Some of y'all listen. got 25 leaders. And you wonder why you ain't doing nothing because you're too scattered. To this day, Alzheimer's only has three people I listen to. I listen to a lot of people. There's three that I follow religiously. That's why I got to the top of two companies. Now, here we go. I'm going to lay out the formula. These, write this down. This, this, is a, this is a must do, not a suggestion. Suggestion for broke people. This is a, a formula. A must do for 2023. And I'm going to go back to what got me making all these apps, eight, 9,000 apps a month. Three, four simple, five simple steps. Number one, you got to go get three leads a day. Three names and numbers a day. Three names and numbers a day will keep a job away. Three names and numbers. One in the morning, one after. You cannot, listen to me, you cannot put your big head back on that pillow at night until you get your three leads. I had a guy in Vegas did this, my first company. He went and got a, he, well, let's put it this way. He went and got one of those small casinos. His residual check was $7,300 a month because he's out there doing this, what I'm telling y'all to go do. He stumbled up on somebody, knew somebody, knew somebody because he stayed in the trenches. Three leads a day, regardless. Monday through Friday. I give, look, Saturday's an option. Sunday's God's Day and Family Day. That's 15 leads a week. Times four weeks is 60 leads a month. Now, 60 leads a month, by God, 60, if you can't get 10% with bad breath, why do you think, let, let me get big in my pocket, get my mints out. Why do you think I carry my mints? So y'all, some of y'all need to carry mints. Some of y'all's breath so bad. So when you go high, some of y'all, they say high, they go, oh, you scare them off. <laughs> now, now, three a day. Uh, uh, come on, T. Hey. That, 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 that's, that's 15 a week. Four weeks in a month, that's 60. Four times 15 is 60. If you can't sign up 10%, come on now, 10% is only six IBOs that you did. If you're an ETT and you qualify six IBOs, how much money did you make? Uh-huh. Oh, 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 what if? Write this down. What if there was 10 you got qualified? Remember, they got to get their first three servers in their first what? Couple of days, not 30 days, a couple of days. How much you make with 10 times 50 that week? Oh, you little slow that month. Well, let's go back. 60. You got 10 qualified. That's just what you did. What if your team did the same thing next month? By the third month, do you believe it or not, you'll be making 15 to 2500 dollars consecutively. Oh, I'm gonna go back to basics. Step number two, you must do. You must, must do. Send out one to three videos a day. One to three videos out a day. Now, Giles and Driss is on the phone with us. We go back. Some of you go back to the old company. I know the Kings do. We should have had to buy DVDs. Come on, some of y'all remember had to buy DVDs. Remember Miss Kathleen with we had to buy the, 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 the magazine. That was an expense. Plus, we had to send them out over mail. That was another expense. We got to get stamp, uh-huh, envelope. Oh, my God. And then they halfway looked at them. Come on now. How much money out of them? You still ain't got nothing coming back. Watch this. Let me show you how smooth our business is. To this day, oh, my God. JC, check, check this out. You can send out, Coach Johnny, you can send out in the comfort of your, your home, your apartment, your truck. You could be in your skinnies. You could be in your underwear. You could be dressed high. In the comfort of your house, send a video all the way around the world in less than 13 seconds. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere. And it's so simple now. It's mind boggling. Mind boggling. Three. That's it. How do you not send out three a day? And then, and then, and then that, that, that's step two. Uh, uh, send out three a day. Step three, the money, as Jim Rose says, is a follow-up. Follow-up, 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 follow up. Hey, so, hey, hey, look at the video. I'm going to send it to you, uh, David Enlow. Hey, I'll call you back in 10 minutes.
call you back. Hey, what'd you like the most? The follow up. There's a follow up. That's follow up. Like the money. Hey, me too. Let's get you started. Then step part of step two, uh, step three is then sign them up. Now there's four steps to signing them up. Step one, step one, sign them up. Here we go. Step one, see the people. What did you do? Well, you did that. Got to leave. Show the people. Well, you showed them. You sent out a video. Step three, uh, wait, 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 wait. see the people, show the people the opportunity, sign the people up, see the people, show the, part, the program, and then you sign them up. Step four, here we go. You're qualifying. What do you mean, Mr. Thomas? Get them qualifying. Get them their three points. Get them, get them ready. 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 Sign them up. Sign them up. Qualifying. You got to get them qualified and then train them. What's step four? Sign them. Qualify and train them. Train them. Train them on what, Mr. Thomas? Step one, step two, step three. <laughs> Teach them to do the same doggone simple stuff, man. By God, this is not rocket science. When I was doing eight, nine thousand apps, well, seven, eight thousand apps, I was just doing the same stuff over and over again. It was so dumb, simply people would educate and they, they fell out because it was too simple. And step number five, step number five, here we go. Get them to an international, a regional, and definitely on these calls. You got a grand slam right there. Dumb as a bag of rice. Damn, dumb, <laughs> dumb as a bag of rice. Dumb, <laughs> dumb as a bag of rice. It's not that difficult, folks. So I've been convicted to go back to you. And say, look, you only need three people to follow. You heard my history. I had three billionaires at a young age. You think I follow a lot of people? No. Nope. So why y'all trying to follow 25 people? 25 philosophy. Well, you know, this group did this way. Well, that group did that way. Well, this group. Let's see. I've done it twice, been the top of two. I don't know. Been admitted by three billionaires, but you go listen to Joe Blow over there, the guy in the hallway training. Huh. Very interesting. Yeah. Has you ever been on stage? Has you done anything great? Is in your magazine? Has you ever been? Huh. The, the proofs of the pudding. Now, so what I want to say with this before we get our guest speaker on, let me let me tell you something about this young man. I'm so proud to have him back on the call. He's had some things in his life pop up, which life is life. And thank God he said we could do these things. Let me tell you about it. He's a champion. In my book, he's a champion. Yes, he helps other people. Now, why did he say that, Ms. Thomas? Well, let me tell you what he does. He helped people get their, their vision right. He helps them see the future when they can't see the future. He believes in them when they don't believe in themselves. He is a leader and leading people out of the, out of the, out of, the, out of, the, out of the, like Exodus, the song we've been playing with Bob Marley. He's leading people out of that. He is truthfully a person with a with a with a with a uh, soul for helping. He's also a guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. He's Yoda. Okay, where's Yoda? Yeah, we, he got a Yoda. Yeah, he's a Yoda. Yeah, he's a health expert. He's a he's a he's a community leader. He's also a loving dad and a charismatic ma, uh, son to his mother, and he's a well coach to many. Without further ado, the one and only Doctor <laughs> Brian Nelson. Amazing morning. I don't know why I had the mid month to the end of the month, but my brain has these brain fogs. I'm only gonna give three points. I was all in the game show. I was listening to all the four points you just gave. Um, there's not much more I could put. I'm just going to put some gravy on the potatoes in literally about two to three points in less than five minutes. Number one, the number one, and thank you so much. I mean, you guys are so blessed to have this man. I mean, I'm blessed. We're blessed. The earth would not be the same. You know, when you start, when you just understand the spirit of our family and the opportunity you have it available to you, and if you can simplify it and make it, you know, own it. If you can own it, like I was, I was, talking to a leader last night and they were like why do you know why is it that people don't succeed what is one beyond the normal answer what's one of the biggest reasons people don't succeed and it's because they don't identify that they're a leader see the levels of leadership are number one you have to identify that you're a leader and the reason i will do that is a fear factor fear of failing the targets the haterade all of the different things before you can get to actually developing yourself as a leader, identifying other leaders, and then developing other leaders, which is four levels, they skip number one, which is identifying that they're a leader. That's why you'll see people doing women's empowerment, but they aren't empowered yet. You got broken winged birds leading broken winged birds, but because they want to heal, they want to take everybody with them, but they haven't completed the healing process for themselves yet to be able to share the entire process to someone else. See, you have to empower yourself as a leader before you decide that you're going to go develop leaders. You can invite people on the ride and defer, which is what we strongly encourage to use Al Thomas's story, Jocelyn Driscoll's story, my story, anybody else's story. I hope people are getting that. So when you're inviting people, you want to learn how, when I say simplify it, 
Number one, learn how to reverse engineer it. I actually don't go out recruiting and getting three. It's really the power of mass, not just mastering the power of a conversation. Just write that down. I'm not going to do a training. I just want you to have that. Master a conversation. I call up Mr. Al Thomas. Hey, how you doing? What you doing? Where are you at? What you been? And either in the beginning or the end of the conversation, I'm going to ask, how could I support you? What could I do to just hold space for you? What is it that you need? And you'll be amazed whether you've talked to them yesterday or talked to them a year ago. If you call people and start with that conversation, I just want to know how have you been and what I could do to support. Whatever you're doing, what's the most exciting thing in your life that I could support you on? And you reverse engineer it because it goes into our law being more interested than interesting. It's impossible for Ms. Al Thomas, if we're friends, family members, for him to call me and say, what could I do to support you in anything that you're doing? Your health, prayer, your business. Is there something I can buy? I may not even need it. I just want to support you. It's impossible for me to get off the phone and be like, was well, there anything I could do for you? It works nine out of 10 times. And if you get somebody who does not reverse and ask you what you need, you shouldn't be calling them in the first place. You should delete them. It's the most powerful way to be able to just truly acquire a customer or a business partner. Number two, I want you to understand, well, I'm on three, here's three. I'm gonna wrap it up on this because I started with one. Do you believe that your life could actually change if you got hit by a car today? Your child, your husband, your, somebody that you love in a split second, then why don't you believe that the same thing can happen in a split second for you in this business? Why do you make it so difficult? Why do we self-sabotage? Why don't you just decide that I'm an SVP today and then just put in the work? Why do you think it's so astronomical for you to be able to have a seven and eight figure income in your family tree and you completely change your entire family tree? However, God provides that. ACN giving you a foundation, security. I mean, it's not about the money. Money is not gonna buy you health, health but it is gonna buy you help. <laughs> so, if you had to choose between $100 million and your wife, you're going to choose your wife between $100 million and your child, between $100 million and your, and your heart because you're about to have a heart attack. You're always going to put, choose the other. So we know money's not the thing that we need to be chased with. So many people are chasing titles and monies that they miss the purpose as to why they're doing it. And if you chase the purpose, the money will find you. If you chase the purpose with piss and vinegar, with the passion of blood and water and tears, as if you got hit by a truck, as if your life depended on it, as if you had a stroke and you knew that you weren't going to talk in about three months. You had three months and you knew God said, you're going to get hit by a truck. You're not going to be able to talk. I'm going to allow you to live. I'm going to allow you to be healthy. You aren't going to have all the faculties, but your brain is going to be fully functional. And you're going to either have to depend on what you do between today and three months or the people that are around you and hope that you live well with the people who are going to take care of you. Which would you do? I'm going to work like hell for three months so that I don't have to depend on anybody else to take care of me. And until you get that type of burning freaking desire every second that you wake up while in pursuit of life, of this business, of the blessings he keeps putting around you, you're just one day away from being in a space that you have to depend on other people living a miserable life. That's my time. I'm sorry I was late and my time clock is off. I can't wait to come back on. Me and Mr. Thomas, I love this man, like blood itself. And it's like, um, yeah, we have a family that you truly need to plug into. I'm about a month behind on everything, so my brain fogs. But for everybody, Jocelyn, <laughs> Al, everybody, my clock will be back on by January 1st, but I'm going to be back on here in a couple of weeks and I cannot wait. I love you guys.